Hi there and welcome back to the series. In this video, we're going to create our first many-to-many -many relationship. We're going to add to the business model actually a category that can have many businesses attached to it and a business can belong to many category as well. So let's dive into it. All right, so to create our first many-to-many -many relationship, we will need to create a new model called business category, which will actually withhold the business categories that we are having in our application. Um, and then we need also a pivot table, which will be connecting a business to a category and a category to a business. So let's head over to warp here and PHP artisan make a model called business category dash M. All right, and that actually is going to create a new migration file for us in database migrations. There we go. First of all, I'm going to add soft deletes again. Uh, so soft the de deletes like that. And I'm going to add a string here of the business. Um, well, no, it's not business, it's category. Category name, like that. And in here, I also want a new table and I want it to be called um, category has business like that. And in here, I want um, actually a table, uh, sorry, an, a column of um, business category like here, category ID. And this needs to be an integer like that. And also the same thing for the business ID. All right, let's save that. I forgot a semicolon here and also here and here. There we go. Well, that's actually going to create a new table for us business categories, which will be linked to the business category model. And also a category has businesses pivot table, which will, yeah, hold all the relations that are we that we are having in our application. So let's first run this, right? PHP artisan migrate. Voila, this actually creates a migration. Well, actually it ran the migration. And let's head over to PHP my admin like that and contact book. All right, so we have a new businesses uh, business category and category has businesses. So let's create uh, a few things here, like a category called food, a category called accounting. Whoops, yeah, accounting, uh, let's save that. And I also want uh, one for construction and also one for IT. All right, let's create those. And now we have four categories um, in our database and I'm, completely fake here. I'm going to insert also, and I want uh, a few more like that. I want um, business category one to linked to be linked to business one. And I want business two also to be of category one. And I want three with four. And I want also three, whoops, three to be attached to business number two. So if you go ahead and browse this well we have multiple um, categories bound to one um, business and we have uh, multiple businesses bound to a category so this is actually the many-to-many -many magic that's happening right here okay so let's head over to the code again and in the model I'm actually going to define those relationships. So in the business model, I'm going to start off with a public function and call it categories, like that, categories. And in here, I want to return this, and it belongs to many, uh, whoa, whoops, it belongs to many of, and this is where it gets interesting, right? So it belongs to many of business category, category, category like that and this is a class and is defined in the table category has business like that and because I'm using business and business category ID in the migration 
business category ID and business ID, I don't have to put the um, foreign key and the own key in the definition here. So let's copy this and we're going to put it in the business category as well. And here we're going to define it as businesses, businesses like that. And this is the business clause that we're going to look for as a many to many in the business category, uh, category has businesses. All right. So I hope that makes any sense, but we're quickly going to test this out, right? So in the view here, uh, if we head over to here, um, we want an extra column in our table that says, well, which businesses have which categories. And to do that, we go to the index file of our businesses. And I'm going to add a table head here of categories like that. And in here, I want a for each. So add for each. And I want a for each of the business. Whoops. Business and the business has categories. So business categories. And let's define it as cat. And in here, we'll be able to use cat arrow category name like that. And yeah, that's it. So if we go ahead and yeah, it's auto refreshing. Um, I have a definition of food and construction and construction. But if I remember correctly, I have so the business category one was I think food and three was construction, but I should have uh, three. So this one is food and construction. So number two, ah, that means that I have one soft deleted at the moment. So businesses. And yes, I have. So let's set this to null again and refresh here. All right. So now I have two with food, one that has food and construction and one that has construction. All right. So that's actually how you can use many to many relationships in your application. I know that the example here isn't, yeah, food and construction for the same company. That's kind of weird, right? But you get the picture about how to use many, many, many to many relationships. So in the next video, we're going to actually, yeah, publish our stubs and adjust those templates that artisan is using. Um, so we don't have to type uh, soft elites every time we create a new model. So um, see you in the next video. Bye bye.